Good morning. Got in a late start. 7.16. I've got to go to work. First time. 10 days. I'm going to go back. I was going to get up early and edit and stuff and that didn't happen. Now my brain is trying desperately to remember. Oh, there it is. To remember where I put this. Because I made tea, some green tea with a little bit of sugar. I'm gonna take it to have to drink at work instead of soda, because New Year's resolution, don't drink so much sugary soda drinks. And I need this to fill it up. Okay, I got out a couple different tortillas, because I need to pack the lunch. Lunch is a big ol' hot mess to be dealt with. At least there's vegetables in here, and there's fruit. It's easy to just grab and snack on. Because New Year's resolution, eat more whole foods instead of prepackaged junk ones. But coffee is where I'm after right now. Alright, got a bunch of lettuce and stuff to get rid of from the fridge, spinach. We're going to see what we throw together for lunch. I think I'm going to do like a salad and then make a couple wraps. Showered and clean. Need to deal with some oral hygiene and then scrubs. So I've been digging through this disaster to find my bag for my laptop to pack up. You know where it's at? Hanging up in the new home I put it. So I go to show up for work and the owner and her daughter, neither one bothered to tell me that they decided to change the holiday schedule and that we're off today. So I show up, I'm showered, I'm dressed, I'm over at my brother's. Fold in laundry in anger. <laughs> I'm gonna edit. It's just one more reason why I gotta quit. Okay, so it is currently 10.22. <laughs> All right, I'm back at the house because apparently we're closed today and not working. Just nobody wanted to let me know. <laughs> so, bonus day off. Um, we are going to get the dishwasher unloaded, get the rest of the dishes loaded, so that's out of the way. Put up my lunch for later. Was so mad. I literally only took like two bites of the quesadilla and like just couldn't eat anymore. I'm just, uh, it's just frustrating. Reasons why I need to quit my job. Reasons why you people need to like, subscribe, comment, hang out, be my friends. Since I won't have a job to go to and be friendly with other people and interact with other humans on a more regular, consistent basis, y'all have to be my support system. <laughs> so, now what to do? We're going to go tackle the bedroom. Alright, 11.06. Hourly update that I'm not wasting the free day I got. So, I've been working on clearing out this mess. Looks slightly impressive, but don't be. Because a lot of it is just getting put over here. Though it belongs over here, I just don't have enough room for everything. So, I've got all my bags and purses go through and use. The two things of dirty clothes I got started. All gloves and hats that's like wintery stuff. And a thing of scarves. And what else did I throw over here? Oh, I keep throwing stuff over here that needs to be organized once I tackle the makeup and jewelry stuff. Put that box there. It's like clothes that I've worn that I only wore for like an hour or so. So they're clean, quote unquote. <laughs> Bunny ears. Um, anyways, so go through that and either put it in the dirty clothes or wear it again the next round. I still need to go through and try on all the jackets and sweaters and cover-ups and sort of deals. I've been going through and getting rid of a bunch of old paperwork and files. So that kind of slowed me down a bit, but I'm almost done with that. I did read a little bit from this book, and I think I want to try and figure out how to do the voiceover thing. I know it's not rocket science. I'll figure it out. But 
I can do like a voiceover of me reading like a little sentence or two that I found really helpful from one of these books I'm reading and kind of voice it over while you watch me be productive in my day. And sometimes we might look up and the two might actually relate to each other. Behavior. Well, why is the kid behaving that, behaving that way? And what is it in, in the environment that the kid is reacting to? Or somebody who's addicted? Not just why are they using a substance or why they are obsessed with pornography or gambling, but what is that doing for them? What is that giving them that they need? What peace of mind? What temporary relief? What numbing, numbing of painful emotions? And where did those painful emotions come from? And what happened to them? And what's the context in which it happened? So that everything leads back to everything else. And uh, so I'm always looking for the larger truth of things, which demands a broader look, not isolating everything, but looking at everything as, as one, which scientifically and spiritually and materially it is. When people talk about work, what is work? I, I think, um, if I remember right from physics, one way to look at work is energy expended against resistance. And the more energy ex you expend against more resistance, the harder you have to work, the more fatiguing it is. But I'm fortunate enough, and I'm free enough in my life right now, that I don't have to face resistance, internal resistance. I want to do what I'm doing, and uh, there's just so much more. And, and, uh, and I'm sure that my vision of reality is still very limited, and maybe there's more to find out. In fact, I'm sure there's more to find out. So it's just, uh, it's just an expansion into old age, I think, if, if we're fortunate enough. We'll see how that goes, and you know, one never knows what tonight will bring. But... All right. Update on my bonus day off, 12.38. Dishes are unloaded. I've got the three crock pot thing cleaned and put back in there. I'm just waiting for, I got it back in that corner again. Whoop. I'm just waiting for this last one that I'm going to stick in the dishwasher. And then that's fully put up. All this stuff is soaking and looks horrible. Going to get to that in a second. Been editing a lot, so hey, that's good. And then I wasted some time trying to find replacement parts because I need more. Two of the dial knobs for the three crock pot thingy or slow cooker, whatever. It's not a brand name. Um, the little dials for it, two of them are messed up and I need to find replacement. So I wasted a good 15, 20 minutes trying to find that to no avail. So I gave up. <laughs> it's 3.03. Starting to rain outside, thunderstorming. And I'm watching from me to you. Just like probably the third or fourth time I've watched this series. I really like it though. And so instead of being productive, I'm going to waste my time rewatching something I've already watched. In hopes that one day, I too will come out of my shell and make friends. Compliment people wherever you go. Praise every single thing you see. Be a ray of sunshine to everyone you meet and make their day better for having seen you. Say thank you at every turn. Walk, talk, think, and breathe appreciation and gratitude. When you do this, your outer life will change to reflect your inner state of being. I relate to this so much. <laughs> You know, the only woman whose life I was trying to change when I was writing Simple Abundance was my own, and then a miracle was that it was just touching other women's lives. So break down the mess into small chunks, tackle just one room, one cupboard, one drawer, or maybe just one piece of paper. Let's do that. And then reorganize your storage spaces so that you can put things away and then easily find them again. That is the goal for this bookcase. And 
the whole closet situation. Alright, the one piece of paper I'm going to get rid of today. Systems, daily, a waking routine, a sleeping routine, a declutter routine, a cleaning routine. This is a good checklist. I should keep this. Weekly gist, monthly review, monthly reset, cold collections, monthly brainstorm, habit, buy nothing. I'm doing paperwork and stuff. Now I'm going to stop for some cereal for dinner. Think about your ideas of happiness. Have you given yourself permission to be happy?